All rise. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This Honorable Superior Court for the County of Essex is now convened and sitting for its regular dispatch of business. Honorable Judge K. Edward Green, President Presiding. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. God save this state and this Honorable Court. Please be seated and remain quiet. Thank you, Mr. Bailey. <clears throat> well, welcome to the uh, Essex County Superior Court. As the bailiff said, I'm Judge Green. Just want to make sure you're in the right place. Uh, this is courtroom 5B. And uh, we have one case on the trial calendar, and that is Green Things Nursery versus the Lax Agency. And uh, I have had a chance to read the, the pleadings. And as I understand, the claim asserted by the plaintiff is a claim for negligence. Uh, the claim being that they thought they had insurance, and they didn't. And I understand that the, one of the defenses asserted by the agency is contributory negligence. So you said you got the contract on the 25th of May. Um, had you previously talked to your agent about this contract before you bet on it? Oh yes, I talked to Larry on several occasions. Okay. And when you say Larry, you mean the defendant, Mr. Lax? Yes, okay. yes. Um, and then once you had <coughs> been awarded the contract, how quickly did you speak to Mr. Lax about the fact that you'd won the contract? Well, I was going to have to buy a new piece of equipment, a backhoe, and of course I called him and told him that I was going to pick it up and uh, I needed to uh, get some insurance on it. So you requested that insurance from him? Yes. Okay. And how did he respond? He told me congratulations on getting the job and that he would take care of my insurance needs. And did he take care of it? Well, apparently not because on June 28th, my employee was driving the backhoe, working in the subdivision, hit a gas line. It burned up my backhoe and burned down two houses that was under construction. And uh, did the insurance company that has been covering your business, did they cover this loss in any way? No, sir, they did not. Did the lax agency's handling of Mr. Plant's request to add the backhoe um, to his existing policy meet, in your mind, the standard of care applicable to insurance agents in this state? In my opinion, no, sir, it did not. Uh, can you tell the judge the reason for your opinion? Now, in all the time that you've been running the agent, have you ever had a claim like this before? No, no one has ever accused me of, uh, of any negligence uh, with respect to handling their insurance needs. Okay. Mr. Lax, in your conversation with Mr. Plant, did you at any time discuss with him that there might be a problem obtaining coverage? Um, no, I, I didn't specifically mention it, but I guess, uh, you know, I knew in the back of my mind that there, there may be a problem. Uh, I just didn't want to uh, alarm, uh, you know, a long-standing customer. Um, well, don't you think it'd have been prudent to say to to Mr. Plant, "Don't don't use your equipment yet. It's not insured yet. Let me make sure we got the policy in place before you go use it." Um, well, I, I guess I probably should have. So you didn't know that he was going to be doing uh, deep digging with this thing. I uh, no, sir. You thought he was going to use tobacco for some, something other than digging ditches? Or? As in doing you know, in the past, like I said, you know, sometimes uh, having to, to work with uh, railroad ties or yeah. something a little heavier, just, you know, again, being an insurance agent, uh, I don't know exactly, you know, the operation of a, a nursery. I understand the, the general gist of it, but mm -hmm. I did not know what, uh, what they were using the, the backhoe for. So when you took the information from Ms. Ledger, you then just share what you heard from Ms. Ledger, relied on what Mr. Lax told you that there wasn't going to be a problem, and then called Mr. Klein. Well, yes, I did. Uh, I, I, I talked to, tried to talk to Larry at the time, but he was in a meeting with our marketing representative from Glacier Mutual at the time. Okay. Mr. Morris, would you agree that a competent agent using reasonable care would ask his customer questions to determine facts that would affect coverage if he becomes aware of anything suggesting that the business might have changed? In a perfect world, that would be right. Um, and if the agent is unable to procure this coverage requested by a customer, would it be the normal practice to promptly notify the customer if he or she is not able to procure the requested coverage? I'd suppose so. And in this situation, Mr. Plant did what an ordinary businessman would do in the situation. I think as a result of that, what we have are clearly laid out, clearly defined, clearly delineated damages 
that Mr. Plant has suffered. $750,000 okay. judgment for the loss of those two houses and $125,000 loss for his backhoe. And we'd ask the court to award that to him and to find in his favor. Okay. Have you fellas tried to settle this case? Tried hard. Okay. All right, Governor. thank you. I, uh, we got an in court here, and, and let me just kind of, I want to give you some ideas of kind of how I'm leaning. I need to think about this some more, and I need to read these uh, long trial briefs that y'all gave me.